So now what we're gonna do is we're going to be setting up our laser so that when we hit the space key or the left mouse button, we can go ahead and shoot a laser from our ship. Before we continue, let's go ahead and commit our project to our cloud. Select collab up on the top and go ahead and make a commit message for completing the player movement system. So implemented player movement. Hit publish now. Alrighty, and now that that work is saved, we can revert back to it at any time. So let's go ahead and set up our laser. In the sprites folder, you'll find a laser sprite. Go ahead and drag that into the hierarchy and you'll see it directly in your scene. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is set the sorting layer to foreground. This is gonna allow it to interact with the player as well as objects that we're gonna be able to destroy. You can keep the order and layer at zero. Next, if you'd like to customize this to your liking, select the color click it and a color picker palette will pop up here. And you can go ahead and adjust it to any color you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine sort of a teal scion color. All right, and once you're happy with it, uh, go ahead and just click the X on the color pattern. And let's go ahead and adjust the scale of this laser. So for me, you're more than welcome to make this whatever, the, whatever you want, but I'll be making mine at 0.45 on the X, 0.3 on the Y, and 0.45 on the Z. Now this is 2D, so the Z doesn't really matter. I could keep it at zero. However, I typically like to keep it consistent with the X. So 0.45. Okay, now that we have our laser set up, let's go ahead and talk about actually creating, how do we create this in the game? And how do we, you know, when we hit the space key or the left mouse button, how do we actually shoot? So the first thing we wanna do is let's line up the positioning for where this laser is going to appear from our player. So let's set our player position at zero, zero, zero. Now our laser and player are on top of each other. So let's go ahead and drag our laser up just a tad bit on the Y till we can get to a point where we're happy with spawning that laser. So essentially what would happen here is if I toggle the renderer on and off is every time we hit the space key, we're gonna go ahead and fire a laser out, okay? So where do we want to do that? Where do we fire this laser? We're going to fire the laser from the center position up 0.88 for me. Your Y value might be a little different. So I'm going to take, from, so from zero, 0 on the Y, we need to go up 0.88. That's the spot that I want to spawn this object at. Now in order to spawn this object, we need to first turn it into a prefab. A prefab is a type of asset, a reusable game object that's stored in the project view. Prefabs can be inserted into any number of scenes multiple times per scene. When you add a prefab to the scene, you're creating an instance of it. All prefab instances are linked to the original prefab and are essentially clones of it. So for example, this laser, we're not gonna spawn a hundred unique lasers like this. Like you can see in my hierarchy, it's all cluttered. We're gonna spawn one laser that shares all the attributes. So let's go ahead and create a prefab. Go ahead in your Galaxy Shooter folder. We're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna name it prefab with an S, prefabs. This folder will contain all the prefabs for our game. And what I want you to do is I want you to drag the laser directly into the prefabs folder. All right, and go ahead and set the zero on the, just remember this Y value, but you can set the zero of it for now um, at zero. Oh, I'm sorry, the Y value at zero. So looking at this, what we've done is you can see here, it's, high, it's a blue box here, and in the hierarchy, it became blue as well. This signifies that it's a prefab. Now what's unique about a prefab is that it shares the same properties as the object original, which is the one we stored in the project view. So check this out. The position here for my X, Y, and uh, Z value are zero, but my laser in the scene is 0 0.88. If I were to drag another copy of the laser, it now has the zero, zero, zero. Now, what if I wanted this, um, what if I wanted this, like say I had three lasers here, what if I wanted all of them to have the same attributes? Well, if you click on the laser here that has 0 0.88 on the Y, there's an apply button. I can apply that prefab and it will update the prefab that is in the project so now the project prefab has 0 0.88, which is the object original. And then each of these lasers are now independent on its own. So for instance, I can go ahead and break the prefab instance and I, these guys can be its own thing, whatever. However, if I were to modify any of these prefabs and hit apply, it will take effect here. 
So as they're in the scene, they can be their own individual game objects and you can manipulate them individually. However, they all come from the object original, which is this laser prefab. Okay, so in, this, uh, in the object original here inside our prefabs folder, set the position to 000. zero, zero. What we're gonna be doing now is every time we spawn in a laser, we're gonna be cloning this object. So we're gonna have a laser and it's gonna be spawned in at 0.88 on the Y or whatever your, um, whatever your position value is for your game. Alrighty, so that's setting up a prefab. In the next video, we'll look at creating logic to actually spawn this in. I'll see you then.